everyone and welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to be um announcing some sad news which you will have already seen in the title of this video and you probably saw on my social media like two weeks or three weeks ago because it has been a little while and i wanted to make a whole video on this because this little guy deserves a whole video and i'm going to insert pictures and videos hopefully you know i've got some and you know several different things in this video just you to see so it's not going to be very long but i just wanted to film this video for him so i've got a little cup of tea if you want to go and grab one quickly go and grab one and you've got to have it in a mug that's animal themed um this is a pig mug i don't know why i'm obsessed with mugs like i literally love mugs so much it makes the drink taste different like it really does and i can't wait to get my christmas mug out because the cups of tea taste the best they've ever tasted in that mug so yeah that mug will be coming out in november not the beginning of november but it will still come out anyway that's not what this video is about um so yeah grab a cup of tea and get settled in about a year ago i had a hamster called dean or just over a year ago and i'd had him for about two years or like two and a half years like a normal standard time to have a hamster and he got poorly and we had to have him put down and he was like reaching you know an old age so we went had him put down and that was obviously very sad at that time and i straight away decided like i really like having something to look after i really like hamsters in general and i decided to get another hamster and that's when i got stanley stanley the hamster um and basically he was black and white so he was completely different like colored to any other hamsters that i've had before i've always had hamsters that are like kind of like kind of like um white with a bit of like um kind of like a caramelly color one of my hamsters was actually called caramel i've had um three hamsters with that color samson caramel and dean <laughs> so i had a little bit of a change and i got a black and white hamster and it was stanley so yeah he was so cute little baby he was quite jumpy like he wasn't the most like he was a bit timid to start with a lot more than previous hamsters had been if i put my hand near him he would leap like he wouldn't just go like that he would literally leap across the room um or leap across his cage and i thought you know what what can i do to get him settled in i will give him treats directly from my hand and he will take the treats from my hand and it just gets hamsters in general just to kind of associate your hand or you with treats which means that they will just be a little bit more trusting of you so he tamed up completely fine as the months went on he would just let me pick him up absolutely fine he would not get scared whatsoever and he would be fine being handled so he'd settled in really well i made him a cage i made him a, like a fairly big cage i used a cabinet from ikea if you want to know how i made it like just message me on instagram which is linked in the description if you're interested in knowing how i made it because it's kind of complicated for me to just you know not everybody's interested in this video basically and i made him that because i wanted to give him like the best possible life that i could um you know because when you have a pet you're not having like in my opinion you shouldn't have a pet for your own benefit you should have a pet because you want to look after that animal and you want to give it the best possible life and that's why i decided to make a big cage well bigger than pet shop cages anyway like it's bigger than what you will find at pets at home and yeah he really liked it in that cage and he had that cage for about nine ten months and um yeah that's when we get to um unfortunately what happened a few weeks ago so last video or the last weekly vlog you would have seen on my channel i showed stanley going from my flat to my parents house in a little carrier he was meant to be staying at my parents because i am basically mainly at my parents these days because i work nearby where they live and i come back to my flats on my flat on weekends so um yeah you would have seen that and you would have seen me like putting sawdust in his cage and everything like that i didn't put too much sawdust in because he isn't a burrowing hamster he never was interested in that whatsoever his cage the layout of his cage had been the same for about like 10 months since i got it and he obviously liked to explore and unfortunately one morning i came downstairs and it was about 6 30 in the morning because that's when i like get up in the morning and i looked in his cage and i thought oh that's unusual Stanley's awake because I've seen him on his ladder in his cage that kind of leads up to the top of his cage where he could like 
grab onto things and like swing if he wanted to. Um, like hamsters kind of like to climb sometimes. But yeah, I seen him there and he was, and I was like, why is he awake? It's the morning, you know, hamsters come out at night. He usually would come out at like 9, 10 p.m. or whenever I turn the lights out and, you know, play around, whatever, do whatever hamsters do. And then he would go to sleep as soon as it started to get light. So I was like, oh, that's unusual. And then I looked a bit closer and I thought, hang on a minute, he's not moving, like, at all. Um, and I just, as soon as I saw him, like, even from, like, six metres away or whatever, I just knew that something had happened because he had basically... Basically, I do have pictures of what happened, so if you do want to see them for whatever reason, like, so that you can, you know, see what happened, then, yeah, message me on Instagram, I'll show you the pictures. Um, I took the pictures so that it is easier to explain to people and to my dad, because my dad wasn't there, just to show, like, what actually happened, because it is kind of hard to explain, like, 100%, um, but they're not nice. The pictures are not nice to look at unless you're like a, a sick weirdo um but yeah they're, they're just it wasn't a very nice death um at all and it wasn't very nice to look at and i was quite shocked if i'm honest with you but i do have the pictures that if for some reason you do want to see them so just message me on instagram um and um, i won't show them in this video because it is just I'd probably not be able to monetize the video because I'd be showing like dead animals in a very not great way. Um, so, quick disclaimer, if you don't wanna hear about how his death happened, skip ahead two minutes because it's a little bit graphic, okay? Basically, I went um, up to his cage and his head was just completely sticking out of the top of his cage. He was on his ladder and his head was sticking out while well, he was half on his ladder and it was fully out and and, it, and you can't fit a hamster through those gaps in his cage that on the top of his cage there's holes it's not hamster sized it's not hamster head sized so i don't know how he managed to get his head through he must have pushed and pushed and pushed um, and realized at that point that he couldn't get back out again because his head was too big so yeah and unfortunately those holes are so small that it, it literally would have choked him and when and I think my theory of what happened is, is that he would have pushed his head through, he would have been choking um, and then suddenly panicked and realised that he can't get out and that he's choking. And I think he would have been kicking the side of his cage and then his ladder fell. So his ladder was like tilted and I think that was from him kicking and half his body was hanging off the ladder and one of his legs was still on the ladder, which means that basically he accidentally hung himself. I don't know if he died from choking or if he died from breaking his neck, I'm not entirely sure. I know this is graphic and it's not nice and I've um, had three weeks to process this, um, but yeah, he, um, I think he did choke if I'm honest with you, but that's what happened and that's how I found him and when I found him his whole body was like completely solid because like rigor mortis and everything um so I instantly ran up and got my mum she was probably asleep or something I don't know um, but I was like mum like and I explained everything and she came running down and had a look and like we was just in shock at the whole situation because it is obviously like some people might say like he's only a hamster but at the end of the day that's like my pet that's what I was looking after every day. That's what I was seeing every day. He has a name, you know, he has, he was like part of the family and I just witnessed like the aftermath of what would have been like a really traumatic death for him. And I, you know, was like, I wasn't there to save him sort of thing. I wasn't there to be able to like help him out. And even if I was there, I don't think I would have been able to get him out because when I pulled his like dead body out through the bars, I had to crack some bones to get his get his head out because it was so tight. Like the metal around his neck was just so tight. It, it literally, I couldn't pull him out. So he couldn't have pulled himself out if I physically couldn't have pulled him out without breaking any bones. So God knows how he managed to get his head through there. I really don't know. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I um, I found him like that. I pulled him out and um, and I was just looking at him and like his little tongue was sticking out. Like, I'm sorry, it's just too much detail here, but you know, I'll put a disclaimer at the beginning of the video. Um, but yeah, he was not looking good at all. And he looked, and I just like looked at him and I was like, literally that is like one of the worst hamster deaths, like surely like to have happened i don't know like 
that I know there's been some weird deaths, but like in terms of an accident happening, I, I was just like, what the hell? Um, so I put him back in his bed to make him, you know, cozy, um, even though he's dead, um, and ready for when we were gonna bury him. So I went to work that day, told my manager what had happened, I told everybody what had happened, and they were like, oh no, that's so sad and everything. Um, and it, you know, it was like quite sad because of like how bad the death was, like in my opinion. And I'd only had him out handling him like the day before. So it was just like, oh. But anyway, um, yeah, we did bury him. Me and my dad buried him at the bottom of the garden. I will try and insert a clip in a second showing um, where I buried him. So I'll do that now. Okay, um, I really wanted to film this clip when it wasn't dark, but here we go. Um, I'll flash my camera maybe so that you can see where exactly it is. Hopefully I don't fall in the pond, even though that would be funny. Um, yeah, I'll try and show it. Oh, scared I'm gonna accidentally do, do something. Um, but it's over here. So, oh my God, you cannot see a thing. Okay, basically there's a shed here and we buried him down here next to rose bushes so he's buried down here somewhere and there's like a rose bush around here somewhere apparently yeah there it is um so yeah we buried him down here which it would be better if i could show you um in the light but watch my weekly vlogs and i'll show you in that at some point but yeah so he's buried at the end of the garden might make a little sign or something um saying stanley on it or something that i can then put in the ground just to know where he is but yeah so that's where he's buried and apologies that basically you couldn't see at all where he was buried but i tried because i just want to get this video up tomorrow else i just won't post it because that's the kind of person i am so yeah back to me in the studio so yeah Stanley is now buried. Unfortunately, he only had just turned one years old. I think his birthday was on the 9th of... Actually, when was his birthday? Mom, tell me when his birthday was. Um, I can't remember. Um, but he had only just turned one, I knew that. And I hadn't even had him for a year. I hadn't even had him for one year. So it was quite sad that he had had such a, you know, a death so soon and especially like a tragic death like it wasn't great and um yeah it was like really annoying to me that that happened the cage itself like i have taken that ladder out now of his cage i'm not gonna ever put that back in the way it was but it had been in there the whole time it'd been in there for 10 months and he'd never done that so it's not like you know it's unsafe but he must have just been exploring like hamsters do and he must have just been attempting to see the outside world a little bit more and yeah and he would have you know tried to escape like that and you know realized that he had gone wrong but it was too late i personally think that he had you know had that accident before i'd gone to sleep but i hadn't seen him because he was in the conservatory and I would have gone to bed and I think I would have said like goodnight Stanley but not actually looked in his cage because I actually did do that and I think that's what would have happened um, because he tends to go up that ladder first to check if there's any treats up there. Um, so yeah, that's not great. But, um, so I just wanted to make this video just to explain what happened and just as like a remembrance of stanley in general and just to kind of let everybody know like what actually happened because i haven't actually mentioned this in any videos yet but yeah if you're wondering that's what happened if you follow me on instagram or facebook then you would know what happened because i like spoke about it on there and yeah poor little guy so yeah that is sort of everything for this video there's not really that much that i can say um he did have a good life whilst he was here and that's the main thing i think accidents do happen and there's nothing that i can do about that so um yeah we just have to carry on um i have since then this was three weeks ago gotten a new hamster I'm not gonna mention him at all in this video talk about him or 
um, I'm not gonna like show any pictures or anything um, because I will do a separate video for that and also I thought it was a bit disrespectful to just say like, like oh here's my old hamster oh I've got a new one like I haven't got a new one because it's like a toy like I'm just replacing the toy like it's broken oh I'll get another one like for me I love looking after hamsters and I want to have something to look after so I have got another hamster and he's settling in very well um but I will show you him in another video but yeah so that's the end of this video um I was gonna say I hope you enjoyed it but I kind of hope you didn't enjoy the video because <laughs> that would be a little bit weird but um thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video goodbye